What is up guys? We're back with another video. So today we have the 5-in-1 USB-C Mac Mini Hub right here. And this is a vertical standing hub uh, and this is by Mini Sapuru. And one of the cool things about this is that it has a built-in M.2 SSD slot under the bottom. So that's going to be something uh, that's going to come in handy. Now, before we even get into this video, shouts out to them. Uh, but I do want to let you guys know that we'll test some of the uh, ports on here. But just know that I did order a M.2 SSD is just not here yet, but once it comes, we'll pull the hub back out and we'll test that. But today we're not going to test the SSD slot, but we will get to it. All right. So um, today I'm going to show you guys where you can pick this up. We'll go through every single thing that comes inside of this box. We'll do a little bit of fit and finish, test a couple of these ports right here, these slots on the front. Uh, and then once that SSD come, we'll pull this back out and then we'll test that as well. All right. Let's get to it. All right, so if you're looking for this, guys, you can find it right here on Mini Supreme's website. It is not listed on Amazon currently right now. It was sold out, and just the other day, it was sold out here on their website. Um, so I'm kind of glad that they got it back as of today. So at the time of this recording, you might have to double check to see if it's here uh, because it might be sold out again. But right now, it's $69.89, all right? Um, so this is where you can find it at, guys, and this is just some quick information about it. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary, guys. Um, we already know it has the uh, M.2 slide on the bottom. We already know it's a hub, got a couple of slots on the front, 10 gigs. We know all of that stuff. This is what it kind of looks like here uh, and so forth. All right, so with that, guys, let's go ahead and dive into the box. All right, so right here on the front of the box, it just says 5-in-1 Mac Mini Hub. This is a vertical stand type of hub. It supports M.2 SSD slots, USB-C data ports, SF, SD, I'm sorry, and TF cards. All right? uh, and the type of M.2 uh, SSDs it support is 2242, 2260, and 2280. All right. Right here on the top, USB-C dock for the Mac Mini. A little bit of information right there as well. Uh, and then right here on the back, it gives you like really all of the actual information. So the output uh, is 10 gigabytes for the USB-C. Uh, SD is 104 megabytes and M.2 is up to 10 gigabytes. Now keep in mind, I don't know if it's going to get that. And I do have a uh, M.2 coming soon. So that video will be uh, coming here in a minute. But today I don't have that uh, SSD uh, M.2. So... I'm not going to be able to use that function today, but we will get to it. All right. Um, once you open up the box, you will have the uh, vertical stand hub with one cable. That's all you'll get, uh, which is connected to it. And it doesn't, you know, uh, detach. All right. Going to have a user manual, which uh, if you guys want to pause the screen at any point right here, you can so that you can uh, catch any part of this that you need to catch. So you can uh, be aware of what's going on with this thing here. Um, right here on the back, it just kind of gives you an example and how, well, some some instructions on how to uh, install the M.2 or any SS, uh, SD chips or, or TF cards or whatever the case. Uh, and then in this little plastic bag, you just get like a heat sink. At least that's what I'm assuming that is right there, the heat sink for your uh, M.2. All right. Um, you got a little plastic sleeve on the actual vertical stand. Uh, but once you take it out, first things first, uh, it is made of metal. All right. And down on the bottom is where you insert your M.2, but it is made of metal. Um, you got a couple of slots on the front. What's that? Four slots SD, like I said, TF and uh, two USB-C with a little power indicator. Also, keep in mind, this thing uh, needs to be powered from the Mac Mini. So once you plug it into the Mac Mini, that's how this thing gets its power. Right? It doesn't have a power delivery port as well. So you can't charge anything from this device because this device has to get its power from the Mac Mini. If I just made that make sense on the inside. Uh, is lined with uh, rubber um, so that you won't have any issues putting your Mac Mini in, no scratches or anything like that. And just a little bit of branding uh, right there as well. Right here on the bottom, you'll notice that it has this little uh, this little uh, cover piece here. Um, and it looks like it wants to line up. I just want you to kind of pay attention to that. It looks like it wants to line up based off of the little uh, end groove, right? But instead, it's not really lined up that way because on the bottom, you have a magnet piece there. So... There's a magnet there, and then there's a magnet on the back. So all you do is slide it in just like this, drop it in place, and it secures uh, via a magnet. All right, so that's a real cool little USB-C vertical stand for the Mac Mini. And here's the Mac Mini uh, in all its glory. Uh, and just to give you a heads up, if you kind of want your Apple sign to be facing up, right, then you have to put the cable on the top. So because I don't want it like that, and I want the cable uh, to just be kind of kind of angled i guess towards the back uh that's why my apple symbol is not upright all right um it's very secure 
uh, I like the rubber pads on the inside. It keeps the Mac Mini uh, really, really uh, stable. So this is how you plug it in, and this is what it looks like. Uh, and then you could just kind of throw a little card in there if you need to, just to kind of, you know, just to see what it looks like. You know what I mean? So what I'm gonna do real quick is uh, I'm gonna get this thing hooked back up, and uh, we're gonna transfer one or two files uh, from the SD slot um, and go from there. All right. And once I get that M.2 uh, SSD, we'll come back and then we'll test some speeds on that uh, and transfer a few documents. All right. Let's go. So real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer a file from this card right here using the dock. The dock is right here. I have my iPhone right here so I can show you guys that I'm gonna plug this in so you will see a, like a video pop up here on the screen of me actually doing this real time, all right? Uh, but this is the card, it's a slow card. So, you know, don't expect anything over the top, all right? So real quick, iPhone right here. I'm gonna start recording so you guys can see me uh, put this in here. So I just press the record button and here we go gonna plug it in and simultaneously as I plug that in uh, you guys should see it pop up on the screen right here all right so it just popped up on the screen and it says untitled and there's honestly uh, nothing on this card but what I'm gonna do is I'm I just open it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my slow hard drive right here and I'm going to transfer a uh, video or something over there all right let's do that so we'll go in here let me go back so we will go to uh videos right here and then we'll go to 2021 and we'll just sort these really fast and i'll just take something that's about let's do something so it won't be so long guys because i just want to give you guys this video real quick we'll take something like this it's 2.17 uh, gig so we'll take this and drag it in right here let's just see and right here we'll watch it so here we go let me put this down here so it says let's see the estimated time uh, that it's going to take but it's actually coming from the hub to right here so while that's doing that guys it says about two minutes while that's doing that uh i know i gotta get the uh, ssd and we will come back and do that but i wanted to get this video i want to get this video out to you guys as, as soon as possible because I keep seeing this thing go out of stock so i was like you know what do i want to wait on the ssd or do i want to go ahead and at least show it to them uh we can move a file or two here and there kind of talk about it a little bit so you guys can see it just in case you just got your m2 mac mini or your m1 and you in the market for something like this that way you can see it now and you can try to scoop you one before they go out of stock because i saw them go out of stock and they keep going out of stock but for some reason at the recording of this video at the time of this video today is uh what's today i'm sorry Today is February 8th, all right? So at the recording of this video, they were just in stock, all right? So we got about another minute left. It's taking a while because this is a slow card. I got a slow H uh, hard drive. As you guys already know, I got the old school Seagate hard drive, not an SSD. So that's probably the main reason why it's taking forever. But um, I just want to see it uh, complete the task so that we can, uh, you know, say we completed the task. You know what I mean? But I'm pretty sure once the SSD comes, I do have black magic on my... Uh, on my uh, Mac Mini, so once the SSD come, we'll test those disk. I can't even say that right. We will test those disk speeds all right, of the SSD. We will test that, um, and then we'll move some files and stuff like that to and from the SSD. All right. So since we got about less than a minute, um, I don't know if it's gonna complete it, but it is going really, really slow. Uh, but that's what you ex that's what you can expect from a slower hard drive and a slower, you know, SD card. But like I, like I say, I just want you guys to see it happen we got about 10 seconds all right so it said two minutes i don't think it actually took two minutes but you know who am i right here we go all right so as you can see it is complete man and uh again like i said i just wanted you guys to see it i think it's a really cool little hub man i think it can get you uh, a little bit more space obviously because you got the ssd slot and you got the uh, sd card and you got the uh, tf card and you got the 10 gigs of the USB C uh right there so i think that's I think it's a good look, man. I think it's a really good look, man. So if you guys found this video to be helpful in any way, man, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We will be back when the SSD come. It's been your boy Jay. Catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.